What's going on everybody? This is Madam Reviews and today we're going to do season 2 episode 35. <clears throat> today we're going to do the superhero movie Spawn, which was released 1997. So before we get on to the video, like I said in the last one, if you like movies as much as I do, if you like The Bear Witch Project, Insidious, The Shining, Friday the 13th, and of course The Purge, and The Shining, oh wait, hold on, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, if you like any of those movies, there's a giveaway going on from one of my favorite people on YouTube, which is Kylie slash Haunted Hippie on YouTube. So yeah, she's doing a giveaway of that and those movies, which is cool. And so if you like her stuff, then go subscribe to her, give her a shout out. <clears throat> so yeah. So that's pretty much it of that giveaway, so I'll leave a link in the description below and I'll get on to the video. Today we're going to do the 1997 Spawn movie, which I watched free on Tubi, which you can hand to. Yes. A comfort government assassin A.R. Al Simmons is killed after being double-crossed by his boss, Jason Wynn, who's played by Martin Sheen, of course. Upon arriving in hell, Simmons is offered the opportunity to return to Earth if he's willing Evil army he accepts and reincarnated as as Hell Spawn, even though he's just called Spawn, but whatever. A twisted, horrible, disfigured version of his former self, Spawn serves as a force of good. Much to his dismay, the devil's henchman, a wicked clown, John Wagwasamo. Oh, John Alberto Wagwasamo. But whatever, yeah, Martin Sheen is in this movie. And so is John Wick with someone, which I still don't believe that he did the clown guy. And Michael J. White as Spawn. He's pretty cool in this movie. <clears throat> and Todd McFarlane. Yeah, Spawn. Despite its low ratings, I kind of like it. It's not horrible. I'll give it a 7 out of 10 for originality, but it's just like... The movie was creepy, weird, strange for a PG-13 rated movie. <clears throat> yeah. The effects of this movie, watching it now, is not great. But back in 97, must have been great. Or not, who knows. I mean, at least it's better than Mortal Kombat Annihilation. <coughs> Maybe I'll do that because there's a new Mortal Kombat movie coming out this month. <coughs> yeah, I'll do the Mortal Kombat movies. Why not? Even an animated one that came out last year, too. So, yeah. Spawn. I like it. I dig it. I never read the comics or anything. The only thing I know about Spawn is that he made a cameo. Well, not a cameo, but he's a DLC character in, in Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Um. I don't know what else much to say. I give it a 7 out of 10. <clears throat> there are a lot of problems with this. Even though it's like a short hour and 40 minutes, I think it is. Or an hour and 34 something minutes like that, I think. I might have to double check. Let's go on to Tubi and find out. There you go. So now you guys can see me perfectly in the daylight. So you can watch Spawn Free on Tubi if you wanted to. Yeah. Spawn. Where are you at? Come on. There you go. Spawn. Yeah, it's only an hour and 36 minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So now we're back, okay. <clears throat> so yeah, Spawn. Not a bad movie. Like I said, so the special effects were horrible, horrendous to look at. But overall, it's a decent movie. <clears throat> I like Spawn's design, it's pretty cool. So yeah, Spawn. So yeah, see you guys next time for when we do something different. <coughs> Excuse me. See you guys next time, please.